So in this lab, um, you will need a chicken wing, and these are just chicken wings that you can buy from any grocery store. You will also need some dissection scissors, as well as forceps, you may need those, um, and you may also use a probe, but definitely you need the dissection scissors. So, um, as you begin, you can look at your chicken wing and just kinda observe it. Um, and if your chicken wing has um, those bumps this on the skin, that is actually where the feathers were located on the chicken. And you may even see, I see here, um, some hair. So there's still some hair on there. I'm just kind of observe, um, what do you see? What does the chicken wing do? And today we are going to be looking at um, how the skeletal system and the muscular system work together um, to help chickens move and compare that to how the human body systems work together. Um, you may, eat, may even see some of the other body systems uh, that work together with the muscular system and skeletal system as well. So we will begin by um, taking off the skin. Um, so the easiest way to do this is to go from joint to joint, just kind of start. This is actually the shoulder um, joint where the shoulder connected to the chicken. And then we can just kind of go one, two, three, all the way down. So I'm gonna grab my dissection scissors. And whenever you're cutting, you want to make sure that you don't cut into the muscle. So the cut will be very shallow and you want to work and make sure you don't cut into the muscle the best that you can. So starting here, and this could take you about 10 minutes or so, but just take your time. So you want to make sure that you don't cut in it. And if you kind of pull your scissors up a bit, that will help as well not to dig in. And as you cut, you will see that the skin is attached to this, this pink muscle here by like this little thin layer. That is connective tissue. So in order to get the skin off, you'll just have to kind of cut through that connective tissue. So I'm going to take and try to cut through all of this connective tissue to get the skin off. If you do cut into the muscle, it's not a huge deal. Uh, just try your best not to cut too deep into it because there's a few things that we want to check out. And as I'm still here trying to get all of the skin off, this skin right here may be some of the toughest to get off, but if you just cut along, you'll feel that bone, just cut along that bone, it'll come right off. And as you see, as we're still getting the skin off here, you will be able to see these, you will be able to see these blood vessels. And this is how oxygen gets to the muscles. You'll also be able to see this silverish whitish here. That is a tendon. And remember that a tendon is what connects the muscle to the bone that allows it to move. Okay, we do have most of the skin off and um, we can still look at what we need to today, even if you don't have all of the skin off. But 
if you look closely here, you have, you know, this is where the shoulder joint is. And just like the human body, there is a bicep and a tricep. And the bicep, if you actually look, there are two muscle groups. That's why it's called the bicep. And for the tricep, which I did cut into the muscle, and that's okay, it's okay, um, you will see three muscle groups. So, um, let's see what happens when we contract the bicep. Just like when you contract the bicep on your own self, <laughs> you see movement. And remember, the muscles are connected to the bones by tendons, and you can see this occur. And when you contract the bicep, the tricep actually relaxes. And you can kind of see that, feel that, especially if you did not cut the muscle like I did. So the next step is going to be to cut the muscle. You still want to be careful with your tools, but you don't have to worry about cutting the bones. So the next step will be to cut off all the muscles to get to the bones. So now that we have a lot of the muscle uh, cut off, you can look at where this joint meets. There is a thin white layer, and that is the ligament. And as you see, it's kind of tough, you know, it keeps the bones together. It connects bone to bone. So if we are to cut that ligament, the bones are no longer connected. But if you look closely, you will see the bone is smooth, and that is because it is covered by cartilage. And also, if you see those holes, it fits in really good together. So these bones, the one that is connected to the shoulder here, that is the humerus bone. And then here, you have your ulna and your radius. The radius is the smaller of the bones. And we're actually going to carefully cut into this bone at the smallest part we can. And when you look inside, you will see a cross section of the bone and that is where the bone marrow is located. And if you remember, the bone marrow is where the red blood cells are made. So there we have it.